I've got my Posca pens ready and we've got tote bags and pencil pouches. So I say, let's customize these bags. Silly faces, little creatures, plants, stupid sayings. Let's do it. But before we jump into it, I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. If you somehow don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community with thousands of classes to inspire you, to teach you, from illustration to animation to fine arts. Whatever new creative hobby you are trying to get into, you will find inspiration. Emmett Dean Thomas has this really fun class called Yes, You Can Draw, Reconnect with Your Creative Self, where she focuses on just having fun with your art first and foremost, no matter what your skill level is and she had these really fun exercises that actually reminded me a lot about some YouTube challenges. These are all exercises that in the end seem really fun and silly but have some really helpful tips that can actually help you identify your strengths with drawing. A premium membership costs less than $10 a month and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get 30% off of an annual premium membership so you can explore your creativity. And if you've already had a free trial of Skillshare, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So let's use some of that inspiration I got from that course and get creating. This is actually the first time that I have ever used Posca pens on something other than canvas, paper, or wood. So going into this project, I was a little concerned, but also pretty excited because tote bags are something that I've actually been thinking about printing and selling in my shop. So I started off by putting a piece of paper in between the tote bag because I wasn't sure if the paint was just going to bleed through. I really wasn't sure about the quality of these bags and I wasn't sure about the liquid liquidity of the paint. So once I had some protection in between the two layers, I got to painting and I foolishly used a dirty paint pen. <laughs> I guess I got a little messy with my last project because my white paint pen had black on it and I tried to paint over it with no luck. So I just, I just moved the mouth in another place. I will paint over that black splotch. So I wanted to start off with something that I commonly draw a lot because I think the colors are so fun and I just love the overlapping aspect of the shapes. So here we have a yellow triangle, a blue circle, and a red square that are overlapping and creating new colors. I just think it's just, it's colorful, it's fun, you know, it's playful. I think tote bags are best decorated with very simple and bold decorations. So I knew that this was something I had to go to. So I think my first test using the Posca pens was overall pretty successful. I learned a lot through this first tote bag. Using the pen along the grain of the material material was very useful. So with that in mind, let's check the paper inside. It looks like it didn't bleed too much. Just a few areas where I really did a lot of layers. Looks like it bled through. But other than that, I was actually very surprised to see how little it actually bled through. I think our first test was pretty successful. It's pretty cute. And it was time to move on to what I decided to do was make matching pencil pouches. So again, basically playing around with the same idea, except we didn't have an overlapping blue and red last time. So I wanted to have that purple intersection. I know, I know purple. And I also love playing around with goofy faces with these illustrations. So I wanted to have their tongues out being playful and silly and goofy. So just like last time I colored the shapes, couldn't help but notice that things went a lot faster this time around because obviously this bag is much, much smaller. Of course, it was a lot harder to get finer details because I was having to work smaller, but it was nice to not have to cover such a huge area. And I was already starting to get a little worried about my pen's running out of ink or paint. So the smaller bag definitely gave me some relief with the paint, but also a little harder to get details. Either way, I think this is a fun and playful bag just like our previous one. Wanted to check how much it bled through because these aren't the same brand of bag. Again, it bled through just a little bit. And overall, I was actually pretty impressed with how painting with Posca pens on these bags went and I was ready to do a few more. 
Okay, so as you guys know, I have a shop where I sell enamel pins, stickers, patches, stuff like that. I thought it would be really fun to create a bag that interacted with my products. And this idea actually really makes me want to print something like this that can go along with my face pins. So if you haven't checked out my shop yet, I do have these face pins that are like three separate mouths. We have five or six different eyeball types. And basically the idea is that you can actually mix and match these eyeballs. You can turn them around to have different moods. And although these are really fun just to put on your hat, your bag or whatever, give your objects a face, I thought it would be really cute to create a complimentary bag that you could sort of customize day by day to match whatever your daily vibe or mood was. Look how cute this guy is. He can be angry, he can be happy, he can be silly or just whatever mood you are feeling that day. It's just such a fun complimentary item to go along with my enamel pin. So I was super excited to create this one. Maybe I should make it a real product. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. So moving on to our matching pencil pouch, I wanted to sort of go along with the same idea, but this time I wanted to give a speech bubble to the creature so that maybe they were talking or thinking about something. So this one is pretty simple. We just have a character there that you can again, customize the face with, with your pins. And then there's a speech bubble where I threw in one of my cat pins. So this character has a lot to say about cat cacti. A simple one, but it's very customizable. And I just think that's so much fun. And that's that. Next up, I wanted to try blending the Posca pens, but I actually went into this idea thinking I was going to create a rainbow and about one third through filling in this cloud creature, I realized that my gray pen just wasn't going to last. Now, I don't know if my pens were actually low on paint and that could be what was wrong here, but I also do kind of feel like they had a lot of issues drawing on these tote bags. I don't know if it was the canvas. I don't know if it was the roughness of the material. I don't know if I was doing something wrong, but either way, a lot of my pens just kind of struggled, though I have had a lot of these pens for two plus years. So I think I am sort of getting to that point where I need to replace them. But it was really fun. I got to play around with a gradient in the cloud. And as you can see, I wanted to create, instead of a rainbow, I did rain. And I thought it'd be really fun to create words in the rain or rather the absence of the rain. So I penciled the word crybaby because when I think of rain, I think of sadness and crying. And I just lined some rain in there. And in the negative space, we have crybaby. I think this one turned out so cool. It's probably, I think, the most perfect idea, I think, for a tote bag. I love it, it's great. One of my faves. So of course, doing our matching smaller pencil pouch bag, I did still wanna do a rainbow. Gradients isn't something I often do with my Posca pens because I usually work with paper. And when you work with paper, the paper is getting shredded and falling apart. So you don't want to work it too much. So this was the perfect opportunity to work with a gradient because the bags weren't falling apart. I could gradient them fairly easily. And this rainbow turned out so nice. Look at that rainbow. It's so gradiented and flowy and bright and colorful. It's a simple pencil pouch, but I had a lot of fun creating it and it's just a simple pop of color and I like it. Moving on to another big handbag. This time I wanted to approach this one with well, more colors and more shapes. I just absolutely love the boldness and colorfulness of overlapping shapes and playing around with blocks of color. And I was also inspired by the class that I watched on Skillshare. With the branding of her class, she has these little illustrations of trees and I just really wanted to make my own colorful, overlapping, shapely trees. So that's what I went with. But of course, I also had to add a giant cat in the background. Now this one was 
quite a struggle. First, my light blue was running out and I didn't even know if I was gonna have enough paint for it. And then my black pens were running out and as much as I actually really enjoyed the texture on the cat, it was just so inconsistent and I had already lined parts of it. So I thought, okay, we're gonna push through, we're gonna fill in this cat. I was slowly adding liquid acrylic into my Posca pen. It was getting very messy, but I really wanted to finish this one because I could tell it was going to be one of my absolute favorites. I did, however, take advantage of the brush paint pen. It, for some reason, just didn't want to brush on material. It did fine on paper, but on the material, it just didn't want to work. So I used that brush texture to create a fun textured tail and there it is. I absolutely, I love this one. It's probably my favorite. So moving on to our smaller pencil bag, I wanted to again create pretty much the same sort of scene where we have some trees overlapping and a big kitty. I did have to change the color of the cat because I did not want to struggle with that black again. The black was basically dead. So I moved on to a dark blue, but again, it was dying. <laughs> All of these bags were such struggles, but I was having so much fun designing them and I really wanted them to become reality. So I pushed through, I made them happen. Now I gotta say, that is supposed to be a floating yellow tree, but it kind of just looks like a sun. And then those purple flowers, they kind of just look like birds. So it kind of just looks like a sun in the background. But you know what? It's abstract. You can think of it however you want. Either way, it looks cool to me. All right, moving on to our final big bag. I wanted to, again, take advantage of the textures I was getting with these pens that were sort of running dry. And with my obsession with crayons lately, I thought it would be really cute to create a character that was drawing on the tote bag and using crayons. And we would have this lovely textured written text that kind of looks like it was written with crayons. Although I did want our cat to be gray because I wanted the colors to really be brought out by the crayons, my grays and blacks just, they were dead. So I created a pink cat, which really complements this sort of teal colored crayon. I think it's really fun. So the, the tote bag says, okay vibes only because it's just something I say a lot. I don't like negativity, but I also don't like toxic positivity. So I like to say, okay vibes only. Just, you know, just passing vibes. I added some crayons on the bottom just to add a little bit more color and just a little more something something at the bottom. And this one turned out pretty cute too. So for the smaller bag, I wanted to draw more crayons because I just had so much fun creating those two-toned colored crayon situations on the previous tote bag. So I just put down some blocks of color. We have a pink crayon, an orange crayon, a green crayon, and a blue crayon. And I was like, you know what? We still need another cat in this one. It's kind of boring if it's just crayons, you know? It just kind of looks like something that you can buy at any old store. So I added a cute little kitty hanging on to our last crayon and, you know, I just felt like it was cute enough to really bring the whole thing together. So we've got our crayons, our colorful crayons with our cute little kitty hanging on to one of them. And as simple as this one is, it's just so colorful. It's a little cute. And I really enjoyed coloring those simple crayons. I don't know why, but I loved it. And that is it for all 10 of our bags. Do y'all wanna see some cringe? Let's see some cringe. feel like I was watching a boomer make a TikTok. Anyways, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I appreciate all the support and thank you guys so much for watching this video. These bags will actually be for sale in my shop, caseygolden.com, so check it out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay golden, bye.